Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video we are going to be making a search box with some fancy CSS styling. As you can see, it's Christmas morning here, so I'm going to try and make this one fast because I have presents to get to. Alright, so this is an empty HTML document, and I'm going to start out with a div, the class of search box wrapper. And this is going to contain two simple elements. We're going to have an input with a type of text. And yes, I know we have an input with a type of search, but I don't really like the X that shows up after it. And the one with text is better supported all the way around. So we have an input with a type of text, and I'm going to give it a class of search box input. Then we have a button, a class of search box button. Alright, now inside of this button, we're going to have the Unicode entity for the magnifying glass, and I don't know exactly what that is, so I'm going to do a quick Google search for Unicode magnifying glass, and this looks good. So I'm going to come here and copy the HTML entity, paste it in there, and let's see what we have. Alright, so we're going to be turning this into something that looks a whole lot nicer. And I'm also going to give this a placeholder. There we go. Alright. Now, let's move on to the CSS. First, search box wrapper. And then we have search box input. Make sure I remember my class names. And then search box button. Okay, so the wrapper is going to have a display of flex because that'll squish the elements right up next to each other. I'm actually going to do inline flex. Mm, looks about the same, but okay. And then the search box input, we're going to give it a border of three pixels solid. E E no 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 D D D. Okay, and order radius of, now the first value of out of four will be the top left, and then moving clockwise. So, you know, let's define our font size. Font size, um, 20 pixels, and font size inherit. So then I'll change this to something more like um, point six M. Is that about the same? No. Um, let's do small now. That looks about good. Okay, then the border radius is going to be zero point two M. 0, 0 0.2 M. So that'll round just these two corners. But I'm actually going to round those out a little more. There we go. Okay, now let's add some inner padding. Um, 
five M. Probably too much on the top and bottom. So zero point two M and zero point five. There, that looks pretty nice. Okay, and then we have to add comparable styling to this button here. So we'll have a similar um well similar border and border radius, although the border radius is going to have the values um that the input doesn't. So it'll be zero, zero point five M, zero point five M zero. Okay, like that. And um, background color white. Okay, now this line here is twice as thick as we want it to be. So I'm going to say border left um, zero. There. Um, that looks pretty good. I'm going to add some more padding around this. Uh, padding. Um, zero, zero point five M. Maybe even a little more than that. Okay, and now let's add some color. So I'm going to change this DDD to something more exciting, maybe like um, 70, whoops, 77, 77. Okay, so now it's a bright green. Cool. And, oh, uh, you know what? Let's just make this whole button green. So I'm going to make the background color 77. Whoops, the amount of percent sign. What did I do? I just still. Blech. Okay, and change the color to white. And the font weight to bold. You can see it a little better. Okay, now let's add. Oh. What is that? A little space there. Ah, so we have to, so this um, so this little space that you can see here, hopefully, um, that must be the outline. So I have to remove that outline zero. I should probably remove the outline from the button too. Outline zero. Now if I refresh. Yeah, now that outline doesn't show up, but we should add some hover and focus styles to this. Oh, I'm also going to add cursor pointer to this. Cursor pointer. Okay, now search box input hover, hover, and focus. And then let's uh, change the color of the border. Border color, maybe to uh, what would be? Hmm. Let's see. I had seven e seven. Should we just go for a darker green? So maybe hmm, four f four. That's just more intense. Um. Mm, that's okay. And then this button doesn't really doesn't have a focus or hover style either. So let's add that. Search box button hover and search box button focus. Forty-four, haha, uh -huh. and background 
and color is 44 as well. So on hover and on focus. Search. And there you go. There is how to style a simple search box with CSS, pure CSS. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Hope you learned something from it. Um, Merry Christmas, even though this is going to be coming out on Wednesday. So, yeah, still Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah. Happy New Year. Have a good one.